now obviously there's still some details mm-hmm. there's still some 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 uh, minor things that i could do to improve on my base yeah uh but i feel like i've gotten pretty far here in making it look the way i want do i see new stuff i i see things so this yeah this is two star landia <laughs> so okay I think glass tubing looks better, so I yeah. put glass tubing wherever I can put glass tubing. And is that the moon pool to the right of that? This is the moon pool. Mm-hmm. This is the uh, the new um, the sea truck dock. And I see you've built some modules. I have built some modules. I have repainted my sea truck. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have built the large room mm-hmm. and an observatory. It's so fun that my base now stretches over to... <laughs> So you can see all of that stuff over there. Yeah. Um, and I have also... Okay, we can see the inside. I haven't built anything inside of the large room yet. Mm. That's okay. Except a coffee machine. Yeah. All right. Um, also, I built uh, the control room. All right. The control room tells you the local time. Mm-hmm. Uh, tells you what your structural integrity is. Not a whole lot. Your power. Well, it doesn't have to be anything more than positive. Yeah, yeah. Like net positive. I know. I, it's just you yeah. have to add some. Uh, you can disable rooms if you want to, to uh, like allocate power differently. Mm-hmm. And you can give your base a name and colors from the outside, which makes it look nicer from the outside. And uh, so, so that's why my, my base is now green. All right. Can you build any new upgrades now that you have the moon pool and the vehicle upgrade station? Uh, yes. <laughs> so we have the horsepower upgrade. I built that. Uh, we already have the Mark One depth upgrade, and we already mm. have the perimeter defense. So that's, but it, but then it's just prawn suit stuff. We just don't don't have the prawn suit yet. All right. Got some more lockers here, so that I have a quick place to dump them after I return with my sea truck. Mm-hmm. Uh, the sea truck is called Speed Wagon. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it is actually quite fast, even with two that's modules. Now Jojo that I have the scene, force right? power, huh? Speedwagon, that's a JoJo reference. Yes. Okay. I have not yet named the lockers inside of this thing. I hate that I am accidentally clicking on the lockers every time I want to, like, click I on know, the actual... I know, I know. Have you put anything inside? Have you brought any materials or food or, no. or health packs or... No. I guess I could... You know what? That's, pr- that's pr- probably not a bad idea to store, like, uh, some food and... Uh, uh, some some food and med kits inside of the sea truck, so I don't have to carry them uh, with me. Yeah, that is not a bad idea at all. Hmm. Uh, I will take that to heart. It's and probably have some dedicated space for uh, food, water, and health. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like I occasionally have a good idea. Hey. Mm-hmm. Now you're making it sound like I'm <laughs> like no, constantly no. shitting on you. <laughs> no. So I have. Um, you just sounded so surprised when you when you said that that I was I like, know, I, oh. just, I just hadn't thought about it. All right. Uh, so uh, I still I, I I've restocked as well, so I have a bunch of everything. Uh, the one thing that I'm low on after all of this is lead. I have like almost no lead whatsoever. Yeah, but I I did tell you that early on in the game, right? That yeah. you're constantly gonna want more lead, but it's like. Also, I need one more ruby. Mm-hmm. I need one more. I did build the ultra high capacity tank, but I need one more ruby here so I can make the Mark II sea truck depth upgrade. I'm missing one ruby for that. I have everything else. All right. Well, th- so. I, I, I think, uh, yeah. I, I actually know for a fact we said we were going to explore Kappa Station. And I know that there's rubies in there, so... Oh, that's nice. So you can just pick those up. Yeah, uh, Alan has al- also told me about one more artifact that right. happened while we were... Um, yeah. uh, while we were... Or while I was farming off yeah. screen. So now, the sea truck, when you jump into it, it fills this room with water, and just pushes you out and attaches the modules. Okay. So now I have my two modules. The, the, I have the fabricator upgrade, and the storage upgrade. All right, you remember where Kappa Station was? Yes. So, 
What do you think of Two Star Landia? It's it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, did you ever recolor your base like I this? I did not. Did you build the control room? I don't think so. Did the control room exist? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. It's just that I am. Um, I tend to be more mobile than you. Yeah. I focus more on my vehicle than than my base. I build very utilitarian bases. To it's be just honest. that I think the base building is so fun, which is weird. I, mean, I did that in like the first Subnautica, but in this one, I was just like, all right. It's just a bit weird because the one thing that has like kept me from playing Fallout Four is that I'm just completely uninterested in the base building aspects. Well, that's yeah. It. Because it's dumb and it, it kind of burns you out and it's repetitive and it's like, it takes you, it's it's the wrong kind of game for that, I don't know. Th and th this is going to sound weird, maybe. I don't know if this is weird or not, but for me there is a difference in, I think it's exciting to build like a high-tech city. Yeah. I think it's boring as hell to build a shanty town. So... If you can't upgrade it to a high-tech city. Yeah, but it's still, everything is, like, made from, like, it, it's Fallout. So yeah. it's a shanty town. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, I, I just, mean, like, I just, well, in I games where you aesthetics. start, in, I like buildy games, right? Where it's, like, you start shit, but then you make it cool later. That's fine, but just building shanty town after shanty town after shanty town with generic NPCs in Oh, you have to build several? I haven't played Fallout 4. Oh god, you built so many. I, I never finished Fallout 4 because I got burnt out on that. Uh, <laughs> also, I found one data pad. You did? Yes. About what? I don't know, I haven't read it. Ah, alright. So I'm just gonna remove these. There we go. Uh, let's see, tech. No, that's the control room. Uh, research, alien data. Water analysis station, that's not the new one. Tree spire, that's not the new one. Uh, I finally got the scan in on the squid shark, which <laughs> I uh, which I didn't do before. Does it say anything interesting? Oh, okay. Uh, we can go back, I'm just, I, I hate having these markers. Mm -hmm. uh, squid shark, squid shark, squid shark, here. Leviathan class predator, smaller end of the scale. Uh, complex squid-like adaptations. Uh, expels swallowed seawater through vents on either side of the body. Slow and steady jet propulsion. Or terrifying bursts of speed. Uh huh. An internal jaw that can be extended and clamped down. Also like a goblin shark, right? Ooh. Yeah, or a uh, moray. And but have you seen goblin sharks? Yes, that they I can have. like just I, fire I their mouth out of their mouth. I have. It looks like an like an alien, like a xenomorph. Yeah. Uh, here, control room, rapid depressurization. Because I found it where I found the, the schematics for the control room. Mm. Uh, we're getting closer. I know the control room will change the process of base building. It contains all the information you need in a singular, pla singular place. Energy delegation for low sunlight areas. Build layout, structural information, etc. Build layout? Can you change that from the control room? Huh. Well, no, it says it gives you information. Yeah, I guess, I guess. We're leaps and bounds away from version 1, which literally just rolled to the bottom of the ocean, even on flat ground. Rapid implosion is supposed to be painless. I hope that's true. <laughs> hmm. Definitely a better way to go than the electrical fire in version 5.7. Poor way to go. Super unfortunate radio call to over here. <laughs> uh. Jasmine was the last work, latest worker that volunteered to test the control room. For hazard pay, of course. She was on the radio, examining some information panels, when she experienced rapid depressurization due to a hull breach. Apparently, the panels were welded poorly and blew a hole in the wall. So, no hazard pay for her, or anyone else for that matter. At least she didn't suffer. This next build should have all the kinks ironed out. Oh, that's where, great. Where did you find that? <laughs> yeah, it was on the bottom of the ocean. Ooh, oof. Super unfortunate radio call to over here. Yeah. All right. Hello, upside down quartz. I will pick you up. Okay. Now, we cleared the outside here before, but we didn't dive in. Yeah. Uh, also, um. Uh huh. 
there is... Yes? Um, yeah. There's... Okay. You can keep talking. Well, I need you to... Okay, look to your left. Uh-huh. Go forward. Uh-huh. Go forward. And now look at this green shiny thing. Have you seen this before? Or scanned them? No. A rock grub. So we've read about them. Which is... Rock uh, grub. Yeah. A distant relative of the sand shark. It has a circular set of teeth in its jaw. Tear up clumps of coral and seagrass. Five legs. Five legs. Huh. Uh, two arms and a large flipper. Uh, green luminescence. Ah, it glows in the dark. Okay. Um... We've read about this with these rock punchers, actually. Oh. What is are, happening? Are. You are... I'm getting cold. That's weird. You shouldn't... That shouldn't happen underwater. No. And it stopped once I stopped reading the data pad. Yeah. So, so you've read about them in the entry for the rock punchers. And that the rock punchers eat them. And you can make the rock punchers kind of like hit something with them so so they have sort of a use so they are rock puncher bait kind of yeah fascinating where did he go uh you haven't picked him up for the cooking recipe new huh. creature discovered yeah. well i figured i would get the cooking recipe if I cooked them <laughs> with my knife. I, I don't think so, actually. Oh, Oops. You just ate a raw fish. Well. Well, anyway, you don't need all of these rock punchers. I just wanted you to know that. What I actually suggest is before you uh, start exploring, then um, that you get more air from your... Yeah. From yourself. So without spoiling what this place is, I'll just tell you that it's kind of like... You can't really afford to idle too much. Okay. Because it's just like, you know, you go from plant to plant to plant. And the further you go, the less or the, or the more spread out the plants are kind of. Right. So uh, the, the oxygen plants, right? So. Well, good thing I built the ultra high capacity tank. Yeah. But even so, I, g I guess the point is don't dawdle too much. And if you dawdle too much, it might actually be worth it to, to come back up. Load up on air, let all of the oxygen plants regenerate, and then go again and use your sea glide. Exactly. Understood. No dawdling. Yeah. Well, down we go. Down you go. Very exciting to see this underwater base here. Ooh, nice. They're harvesting huge amounts of titanium. Mm hmm. And nothing in there. Okay, so we got a rock puncher here. Ah. He just walking around. Doing yes. his thing. And... And... I'm still under the assumption... Oh, wow. That I am going down here... For, um... The alien artifact. Mm -hmm. Do you have the thermal plant yet? The, uh... Thermal? No. Because there are <gasps> there are parts pieces of it here. Thermal plant. Oh. Okay, one out of two. Uh, yep, that's two out of two. And then there's a bunch of diamonds down there. Now I have a lot of diamonds. All right, but there's also rubies. Rubies is more interesting to me. Rubies, rubies are more pertinent to my interests. But I'll, I'll pick up the diamonds. I have an empty inventory. That's another thermal plant. I already have that now. Yeah. At least I think I saw rubies just now. Weird. Is this also a thermal plant? Yes. I only need see. two, but there are like scans for it everywhere. Uh, I think maybe it, maybe yeah, I saw, you saw the, the fishes. Fish. But there's also rubies in here, so don't worry. I will take your word for it, and I will not worry. Mm hmm Nice. I'm running low on those, and uh, making those fiber meshes to make more is sl slightly annoying. 
What's that? It's gold. No. What's what's that further? That? <gasps> ah! 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 Prawn suit! Mm-hmm. We doing it. One out of four. Yeah. One out of Well, four. in case you can't tell, this place has a lot of, like, drillable deposits, like that large ruby deposit there, for example. I saw it. And it has this weird architecture that almost looks like if you were to explore it with a prawn suit, you could get in and out. <laughs> Understood. Uh -huh. Come back down here with a prawn suit. Well, it's just like uh, you can get lots of stuff here. There's a ruby now. Where? Yeah, right down. Ah. Okay, brilliant. Mm -hmm. So now I can build the uh, Mark II depth upgrade ah. from a sea truck, mm -hmm. which I'm very happy about. Prawn suit fired. jump jet upgrade. Yeah, there was also I think a drill arm fragment or something that you just <gasps> floodlight yes there's a data pad uh, on the table yeah, yeah 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 just another builder fragment oh and now, the drill arm on the floor I wonderful i had i think i already had like one one of those no, no i didn't no, I had the no, propulsion arm. No, you, you can get you get both of these down here, actually, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, now the problem is I am running a bit low on air. I would like to find an Drill air... Drill arm fragment. Yeah, I know, but I'm just looking for uh, oxygen. I did tell you that... Yeah, the... yeah I, yes, you did tell me. Yeah. So, ah. Plant. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. The stark surface landscape. Plant? Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Surface landscape? Mm-hmm. Has figured out where there's a surface landscape. So what I'm doing now is I'm going up for more air. Yep. Uh, because I don't like to just... Makes sense. Uh, always be close to running out. Makes sense. We spent so much time scanning stuff on the way down. Yeah. Uh, next time we go down, we're gonna be able to move forward a bit faster. Yeah, you can uh, go straight back to, to, to where you were and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I think I already had one or two for the grappling arm. Possible. And now I have one out of two for the drill arm. Obviously, those are your two go-to arms in this yep. game. Is, is it true this game as well? That those are your go-to arms? Um, yeah, I guess. Eh, 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 eh. Wonderful. Oh, he's calling. Father humans cope with the loss of memories. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. I still How think he sounds like Alan Rickman. Efficiency <laughs> aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Hmm. That's what happened at one of my jobs, where everyone besides me all quit at the same time, and I was the only one who's still there. And uh, I was like, well, if I also leave now, then uh, there is no one left to pass on that knowledge Hold to Hold on. Yeah. Do the, the scan next generation. off the arm. Yeah. 
Um, so like that, that loss of knowledge, or like just what happens if the chain of knowledge passing from person to person is broken, right? Um, that is absolutely a thing that 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 can happen. Yeah, but that's like that says several things about that place of work, right? Both in terms of like how they deal with like retaining um, information, because it's like kind of also bad if you don't really document any of your practices and what you're doing yes and no i mean obviously it did document stuff obviously but like not not everything i mean you can you can have as many docs as you want but um i know there yeah. are things that can't be uh i think i already have this now yeah yes drill arm so i already have that now and what we're looking for would be uh grappling hook arm mm -hmm. another data pad gotcha picking up the pda and the thing what is the thing New technology acquired. headlamp hey. you know what i don't mind the headlamp yeah so you can look like my dad when he's doing a barbecue <laughs> 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 he has like this this i don't know this band around his head with like a lamp attached that he likes wearing when he's barbecuing so he can see outside when it's dark it looks super silly no no it makes total sense ah there was uh. no nothing to click on all right ah another and ruby there's your your last bit of the prawn suit prawn suit got to get that prawn suit Yo, you got yourself your fucking prawn. And I think I reached the bottom. I think so too. Can look around a bit to see if there's something pick upable or scannable we've missed, but you got what you came here for. Yeah. No, I don't see anything. Ah, there's a. Is it a drill arm or a grappling hook? Drill it's arm a drill again. Arm. You know what? Since we're leaving anyway, oh. I'll just take the extra titanium. Yeah can get uh, oxygen as well or uh, not where like directly below you oh there oh my god Sorry. <laughs> it was like right next to you when i said it <laughs> uh okay yeah so that so there's a ton of deposits down here mm -hmm. for rubies gold titanium stuff like that so there is definitely uh some value in coming down here with the prawn suit yeah this is something for for off-screen farming so I've noticed something while editing these episodes. Yeah. It's a new uh, speech tick of mine. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. I say that all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I say that like once per minute. I hate it. Oh, I don't dear. know how to stop myself from saying stuff like that. It is the worst. <sighs> I, that's that's why I hate listening to recordings of myself. It's not so bad with the let's playing, I think, but if I do some work training at work yeah, yeah. and or a presentation and I listen back to it and just the amount of ums and things ums like that. Ums is a thing. Ugh. Ums is definitely a thing. Um, I... I, I I've started doing that now when um, uh, when editing. If I find a good spot where I can just snip out the um and no one is the wiser for it, then I will absolutely do that. Because it's, it's like in, in Let's Playing we're having conversations. I guess there's less um in there. But when I'm doing something at work or it's like a report out to leadership management somebody asks you a question and you're just trying to buy time and you just add all of these ums in there and it's just like oh yeah it's probably something you do like just when you're when you're thinking yeah and uh you don't it's easier in a normal conversation just free flow because you're not really thinking about what you're saying so um yeah <laughs> No, but you, you don't. It just comes. You realize the irony in you saying this Did and I, um? then following it oh, with an um. That's why I was God. laughing. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even know I was umming. Jeez. You, you were. So. No, I listened to a presentation, uh, a TED talk or something by some public speaker. 
who was talking about how um, um, just just uh, she had trained herself to um, to just stop umming. <laughs> Ion battery, huh? Well, okay. I try not to do it when I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> And just do a pause instead, but 